You gotta help me out here, mister. Can you? Please. I've been on the run for days now. Uh, if you could help me with these shackles, I, I just might have a chance. You serious? Just shoot the damn chains already. Come on. Easy enough. Oh. Oh. Oh, yes. Yes. Perfect. Ah, thank you. Mm hmm I... I got no money to give you, but I think I might got something even better. Well, I was stuck in line with this thief from up in the Grizzlies. Says there's a family up there. Real strange, but rich. Loaded up, he said. Oh, yeah? Why'd I be interested in that, huh? Um, I don't know, just a hunch. It's up to you, friend. Yep. You busy, Arthur? Not too busy. Why? I heard about a house. Could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said... said it was really... freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. And they're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. They're well hidden in the woods. That sounds pretty dubious. Of course, uh, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. It's up north, on the other side of the river from Valentine. Best way there is through Cumberland Falls, though. You know it? Sure, more or less. Breaks over, boy. Ha! Okay, we're pretty close now. Let's stop and go on foot from here. Just up the hill this way. Follow me. There's a spot up ahead where we should be able to get a good look at the place. I want to make sure we don't run into any surprises. Sure. Apparently, this family's been isolated for so long, they started talking in their own weird dialect. They really don't like outsiders, especially on their turf. <sighs> well, you just keep selling me on this job, don't you? Well, there's a pretty big barn in the back. It's not a bad place to start looking. There must be a lot of people living here. Large house. Stash could be in any one of them buildings, and who knows how many people are in there. <clears throat> I ain't sure about this. Well, I, I think we need to draw them out somehow. And... I got an idea. Follow me. All these trees, I can't get a proper look at the place. Well, hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us, too. Coast seems clear so far. Yeah, so far. Hey, keep it down. I hear voices.
Come on, let's hide behind this shed. See if we can hear what they're saying. Just stay quiet. This time once mouth. Creepers, Finn. Don't score notions in the dippy Plymouth's head. Where you been now, Newt? Don't be boiling now, Pappy. I's gone but ten minutes I was. You can hardly gag all the now day long, cause Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? Yo, oh, Edie, get all the jam. You shut your gulper, or I'll flag her your felt, I will. You need to pull it up, boy. Up. Go guard the shed. Go! You understand what they're saying? Not much of it. What are we doing, Javier? Okay. You take cover by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, and then you jump them, okay? What kind of distraction? You'll see. Be quiet! See any more of them? All right, quick, let's look for the stash. They weren't shy about defending that barn. Let's check in there first. Has to be under here. There's no place else I could store it. Hey, Arthur, give me a hand here. Told you it was worth the trouble, didn't I? Yeah, you take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Right, sounds good. Yeah. 